morning everyone, Carol here at Oak House Journals and as always a massive warm welcome from me, lovely to have you with me. Um, okay, so believe it or not, we're almost halfway through the year, June is hard and fast on our heels so I thought I would set us up for our next tag swap, our June tag swap and as always it is open to absolutely everyone no matter where you live no matter what your crafting ability is no matter whether you've taken part before um, and fancy taking part this time round um, and no matter what your um, preferred craft is whether it's paper embroidery painting mixed media whatever um, it's open to all and absolutely the more the merrier um, there are no hard and fast rules, um, perhaps one maybe, and the only hard and fast rule really I would say is that please if you sign up for taking part in the tag swap um, that you actually do commit to going through with that tag swap. Um, that if for some reason um, life takes a turn for you, things fall apart in your world, oh, um, I mean life gets in the way. So if that happens and you can't take part, then please just contact me and or your tag swap partner if you've been allocated a tag swap partner by that stage. So that really, I would say, is the only hard and fast rule. In terms of the theme, and I will suggest a theme in a moment, that is purely what I said it is. It's just a suggestion. Um, in terms of the size, um, whatever size you decide to make your tag, that's absolutely fine. I mean, I've got some here and I will put the size of these up on the screen above um, so that you can see. But that is just a guide. Um, it also doesn't matter what you make your tag of. If you are a sewer and you want to embroider or sew a, a tag, um, make it out of material, that's absolutely fine. If you want to mix material and paper or make it just out of purely paper, if you're a paper crafter, then also that's that's fine. Um, if you're into mixed media and you want to include, oh, I don't know, um, cardboard and tin and stuff like that, um, then again, absolutely wonderful. Um, so it is entirely up to you, as to is the fact that you might want to include goodies or bits and bobs from your stash. This is purely a tag swap, so it's entirely up to you if you want to send um, a few extras or um, a few other handmade goodies um, along with your tag. There is no obligation at all to do that. Um, so... I think that covers about everything. So if you're new to the challenge or the tag swap, um, let me explain how it works. What I ask you to do is to email me with one or two details. Now, that email registers to me your interest in taking part in the tag swap. And my email address is in the description box below this video. If you leave a comment to this video. I won't enter you into the tag swap. I will only enter you into the tag swap if you email me and that's important for the simple reason that it gives me your email address and I need that to be able to communicate both with you and to send it on to your tag swap partner. Um, let me reassure you that I don't keep your details from one tag swap to another and I delete them after I have notified um, you and your tag swap partner of your um, uh, relevant email addresses. So if you have taken part in one of the tag swaps previously, you need to email me again because I won't be keeping, um, I won't be keeping, I have not kept your details from the last tag swap. As soon as I notify your tag swap partner, um, of your email address, I drop out of the scene um, and I delete your email address from my account. So, as I say, the first thing I'd like you to do is email me and the details that I'd like you to include in that email are where you live, not your address, just your country um, where you reside. Secondly, I'd like you to let me know how many tag swap partners you'd like me to arrange for you. And thirdly, whether 
you want to swap with somebody internationally or, and this is not an and or please, it's whether you want to swap with somebody internationally or whether you want to swap with somebody in your own country. And the whole purpose of, of this little part of um, the information that I ask for from you is so that we can keep shipping costs down because, you know, I know shipping costs can be quite expensive. So if you're happy to swap with somebody internationally, I need to know. But if you would prefer to only swap with somebody in your own country, then again, I need to know that. OK, so I think I've really, really rambled enough this time round. Oh, goodness. So the closing date for getting your email to me to let me know that you want to take part in the tag swap is by the 1st of June. So by 12 midnight Greenwich Mean Time on the 1st of June. So email me by that date, please, and I will enter you in the tag draw. The draw will take place the day after on Wednesday the 2nd and I will post a video and then within a couple of days, I can usually manage to do it within um, two days, I email everybody and let them know officially who their tag swap partner is, regardless that they've just seen it on YouTube. Um, and I will include with that details of their tag swap partner's email address and then it's down to you everybody you just email your tag swap partner and agree what your theme is what your size is going to be um, and anything else that you want to agree um, maybe it's to agree that you can only send your tags out by the end of the month whatever um, that from there on in once you have your tag swap partner's name and email address it's entirely up to you OK, so I think I've covered everything except, <laughs> and I leave the best till last, don't I, um, except what the suggested theme is for this month. So the suggested theme or prompts are ocean, a die cut and vellum. So ocean could be the sea. It doesn't have to be um, water related. It could be just the colour, aqua, aqua tones, blues. Um, it could just be an image of a fish or um, seaweed or a mermaid, perhaps. So they're all very, very loose. Um, a die cut. Well, again, that could be a die cut of, again, some seaweed or um, a shellfish or something like that. Um, or it could just be that you use a die cut to act as a frame round the outside of your tag or it could be um and i haven't got one on here it could be just the reinforcer um at the top of your tag it could be something as simple as that or nothing at all because these are just as i say suggestions you don't have to use them you don't have to use all three you don't have to use um you, you know, you don't have to use any of them if you don't want to. And the last one is vellum. Well, it doesn't have to be vellum. It could be acetate. It could be tracing paper. Uh, but as I say, it doesn't have to even be that. Um, so there you have it, everybody. Um, I've rambled on enough. So I really do hope you'll take part in the tag swap again this month. And please just email me. Love to hear from you. And bye.